Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Um, I've redone my hair, which is so cool. So today I'm off to see Markiplier, if you can tell. Like, I can't even do it, there we go. My Markiplier trousers. Um, so yeah, I wasn't sure whether to go in them, but they felt. And I've put some tights underneath, so I should be okay. Uh, but yeah, and I've got my NASA t-shirt, because I don't have a Markiplier shirt. But I thought I would, well, t-shirt, jumper, I thought I'd wear that. And I've got a Harry Potter shirt underneath. Um, I am almost ready. My bags are almost packed. They're almost all done. I just realised you can't really see me. Um, just going to put a bit of mascara on, a bit of lipstick, and then I can go. But I've got a bit of a, a journey to make. So I'll see you there. Well, I can't check in just yet. It's nobody here. Woo. Hey guys, so I have made it to my room, and oh my god, it looks flipping awesome for you know premier in budget. And it's pretty cool. I can't see there. I can look out the window if I wanted to, but I don't have time because I'm actually come in, checked in, uh, packed my rucksack. And then I'm going to head back to the theatre. I've already been. I've stood there for about 40 minutes already. Um, I was one of the first people there, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I saw the guy who does the music. He walked past me with a few stage people. I was just like, <gasps> I didn't say anything. I wanted to, but I didn't. I was just like, oh, it's him. Like, I don't know his full name. I know his username. But, um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So I was like, oh, yeah. That confirms I'm in the right place because I always get worried that I'm in the wrong place. Uh, I might try and vlog a bit more when I'm there. <coughs> Excuse me. But I've just got myself a subway. So I'm going to eat while I'm outside. It's flipping cold. Well, it's actually getting warmer. And I got myself a tea. So yeah, I am going to go and change my bag, go to the toilet, and then head back out. I, get how, like, I am street. here again. I've just got. You know what, I've never seen so many d delivery bike people yeah, in my yeah, entire yeah. life. I've never seen Uber Eats until today. So I'm back here again. And it's the sun has come out, which is so cool. And I met Tyler and Wade and I got a photo, which is pretty damn cool. I will post it here. Uh, so yeah, it is probably about three o'clock now. And it's like four or five. About three hours, maybe. Yeah, it's three o'clock. Yeah, three o'clock. So about three hours until we go in. Yay! Oh yeah, I saw the music guy. Oh yeah, I told you that earlier, didn't I? Oh yeah, I forget. I'm not used to vlogging. And there's no sign, which is pretty sad. There's no like posters or anything. So yeah, see you in a bit. Putting out the merch. We're that early that they're still putting out the merch. That's pretty cool. Oh god, this is why I don't like vlogging. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, it's alright. Okay, so we're getting, it's getting packed in here. We've got, well, yay! <laughs> oh my god, so it's going to be look hilarious in the video. Just like... <laughs> it's going to be collab now. <laughs> yeah. It's getting busier and busier. And I've got my merch on because why not? And I was also first at the merch table. I know. I look terrible. I apologise. Okay, third attempt. We just got up the stairs. We just got given these bags by Evan. I call him Ethan. We are apparently going to see the famous YouTuber Mal Flynn according to this. According to this. And I think this is where we're going. But, oh my gosh. 
I think it is. Because like they both said. Oh yeah. And there's like a box of like card things there. There. <laughs> Thingy cards. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ah. Yeah. And I got my shirt on. So cool. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's from Norway! Really, it's from Norway? Really, it's from Norway? Aren't we going to Norway? Yeah, Ah, good way, I see, I understand. Well, good news, my voice is almost 100% better, which means... <laughs>
out together and we were like, we, we should do a tour. Before we actually did the first show, I was like, alright, one person's a good show. <laughs> Okay, so we're waiting by the door. There's quite a few of us. Um, I think we now call them Mokabai Penguins. I think that's a thing. Also, my hat. I've taken my hair down. Sure. So yeah, we're just waiting. I don't have anything to do, so I'm gonna stay and wait here. See you in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm finally back. It is about uh, five to yeah, about about these are about five. To midnight, and I've just got back in. The show finished. Oh, you can't see me. The show finished at ten, and I stood by the stage door for like two hours. Um, yes, to wait for the everyone, but also you know there was quite a few people. They were they were actually really cool. It's part of the experience, and you know speaking to other people and about the show and everything. But yeah, I just realised that I have in that moment. My phone also decided that. I've got no memory, so I've now gone to my camera. So. Okay, so I finally sat down, uh, ignore the messy hair. I know it's terrible, but hey, it is midnight. And I'm ready to go to bed. But I'm gonna do, before that, well, before I do that, I'm gonna do a little haul of everything that I got today and all that kind of stuff. So let's go straight into this. So first off, I actually have two of these, uh, cause I had a spare one that somebody left behind and didn't take with them. But it's these little card, uh, red and green, uh, Mustaches and M's. Uh, basically, there's. I'm not. I don't see. I don't want to spoil it. But these are used for in the show. Uh, so I've got two of these, which I can display like this, which are pretty awesome and they're cool. And yeah, and they make great fans. Really great fans. The second off is also because I was part of the VIP. I ended up getting this lanyard with a picture on the back of everyone. And then I got this signed by Mark himself. Uh, except it looks like it, I've been, it's been signed by someone called Marplin. It doesn't look like Mark by at all. So this is kind of hilarious. It's kind of like a wooden joke that we were doing. I was like, it's not Ma 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 Marplin. Yeah, it's Marplin, that popular YouTuber. Next, so next I got. I can't really show you it because I won't be able to get back home. But I've got a poster, which is basically the same as this. So I'm going to frame this and I'm going to stick these with it and my tickets. And possibly that in there with it. So that is my little poster, which actually was about five quid. Uh, so, okay, for poster. So the next one you've already seen it is my little uh, beanie hat. Um, it's pretty warm, pretty nice. And it's actually like sewn, like sewn in the logo. It's my, like... Um, printed on which I'm so glad because printed on is a bit mm, but at least this is nice and warm and it looks pretty awesome it was, it was an okay price it's not like I would totally buy this beanie every day but it was okay so next up is this shirt it's like a blue navy I like it it's pretty awesome and actually fits better than I thought it was uh, so you've got the picture on the front but even better what I really love about it is that it's got all the tour dates at the back which for a tour top I think is like an um, absolute must. So it's all the European dates and like it's just so nice and just so cool and comfy. I'm definitely going to wear that on the way back. So the next one is a, I actually got a hoodie. Um, on the front you've got like the little M logo which is pretty nice. Again it's printed so it's like mm, I'm not a big fan of printed stuff. I prefer like this sewn in but you know what. Mm. And on the back it's got the Markiplier's You're Welcome Tour. Which is pretty cool. I wish they had like the dates in the back as well. That would be awesome, but at least it actually says, you're welcome. Okay, if you see this, then the vlog has continued. Um, it is the day after. It's currently, what time is it? 10.31, if you can see that. In the morning, I've just got back. I've walked. I had a subway for breakfast. I had a sausage sandwich, which was amazing. Um, I've now got a cup of tea, and I've got to check out in a couple of hours, but I might leave soon, just so I can get home early. And I can start editing this and I've got to go out tonight so it's like, ugh, I can have a bit of a rest. Oh, there you go, there's my Markiplier. I'm actually wearing, this is how I'm wearing my, my Markiplier tour top today. And it actually, I like how it can tuck into these trousers. It does, it does say, you can't see the tour name, but 
it works. I like it. And I'm wearing the hat because it was freezing outside. So, I thought I'd talk about the tour and about, well, about the show. Uh, because I thought I was going to talk about it last night. And then I thought, you know what? Go to bed and then wake up and do have like a clean head. Because, you know, excitement and everything. So, yeah, pretty much, what do I want to say? The show was amazing. Honestly, I haven't, I don't think I've ever laughed so much at a show. To be fair, I've never really been to an improv show before. I've been to like a couple of stand up, uh, stand -up comics, uh, Jimmy Carr, Joss Whittaker, there's only two I've been to. So that was my only other experience of a comedy show. And oh my god, I, you know what? The Welcome Tour, or Your Welcome Tour, might be the best comedy show I've seen. Um, it was so much fun. I've not laughed so much. It's hilarious. I got some of it filmed, which is good because I like to go back to these things and just rewatch them, and then I can show people who don't understand what the tour was. Um, I'm just like, this is what I went to. Okay, I show you back my storage went, and I realised a whole load had a whole load of old vlogs from G the G Cons on here. So I'm going to just to quickly delete them. So the show. Um, yeah, I've never laughed so much at a show. It was. It was it was really cool. We had see if you don't want spoilers, don't watch now. If you do, then carry on watching. Um so first off we had our VIP experience and this was the first time I think he said he was able to sing since getting ill. So we got three songs from him. Uh one of them I wasn't sure, I don't even know the song. Uh the other one was a James Arthur song and an Ed Sheeran song. Um, he has definitely improved with his singing so much. On the first video, I wasn't really sure when he first sang, but actually, he has improved so, so much. And it was really good. I really enjoyed it. And then he had, like, a little q and I put my hand up. Didn't get picked. Oh, well. I was, like, right in front of him, like, front row. Um, which is slightly annoying, but, you know, I felt like I was at school again, going, me, me, miss, pick me. Um, and then he had a surprise, I kind of knew it because I saw it on a clip before, and they all came out song, started singing All Star, which, of course, the best, one of the best songs in the world. I might have to listen to that on the way back, actually. So they started all singing All Star, and that was, like, so cool. And then that kind of finished, and then we had, like, about, an hour, 45 minutes to wait until the main show started because everyone who had general mission needed to come in. Uh, so we got kicked out of the theatre and then we had to go back in again. So we come in, sit back down, it's so cool. And then we have this video, cartoon video on the screen and then Markiplier comes out and he starts doing this like speech and he's doing like various things like he's a doctor he meditates, I think it is. Um, he's a runner. He's a uh, ballerina. And it's just so hilarious and so good. And all the other guys are like dressed like ninjas because they're like the stage things that move him all got so he can eye out. And yeah, they start doing that. So yeah, and then they bring out a sofa and then they all kind of start there. And then like they brought someone up on stage who was probably the best person because they were cause they had to talk about like themselves and what their family does and that kind of thing to make it part of the show. And they picked probably the best person like who has like the most oh, how do I put it? Strange life, like moving back and forth and doing various things. Like there was a crocodile involved, like in the living room or something. So it's just like, yes, you have picked the right person there because even Mark Pye was like what? Who have I picked? So yeah, that was pretty cool. And then they did some improv games. And then they did like a dance battle. Oh yeah, we had an intermission, which apparently they didn't have in America, but because of the being in Europe, they have to have intermissions. So they had to have an intermission and then they came back with like this dance, dance off, which was pretty awesome, pretty hilarious. Um, and then they did some more improv games. They did a video game on the Switch. And then they did a Q&A. Again, I put my hand up, didn't get picked. But to be fair, they sent Catherine and Evan, I think his name was Evan, yeah, and um, Dan, but Catherine stayed on that side, so there was like pretty much no chance in getting picked, to be honest. Kind of sad, because my question was going to be, um, it was going to be like, um, how do you pick 
your charities that you do for your charities live streamers and I was gonna ask him if he could do one like a charity for me um, or any advice to do a charity live stream because I really want to do one but sadly I didn't get that answered but after was even more hilarious because we went round I ran around to the back door anyway, well the stage door anyways because I kind of do, it's like the atmosphere and all that and we were all standing there in this group and there's another show going on at the same time, Hairspray so every time all these Hairspray actors come out we kind of look at them and go, and go no and it's like I feel so bad for them that we're standing there and they're thinking all these people are for me no they're not but that was, that was, you know what, it's pretty hilarious and there's two hours by the stage door we saw Catherine and Evan again uh, as they leave and um, we just stood there talking about the show and stuff like that and we called ourselves, well, we said about being like penguins, here's a picture here and uh, yeah we stood there to about 20 to 12 and we saw, well I, we saw a few more people come out and we saw Dan who does the music on the show, he's on stage with them and I actually saw him earlier um, he walked out and I was standing like in front of the building, he walked out. I didn't say anything because I was like, I know it's you but I don't want to be that person who kind of goes, like, excuse me, excuse me. The only reason I said, like, ask the picture for Tyler and Wade is because they, could, they kept coming towards me and I saw my Markiplier pants and I was like, hi, hi, how are you? Kind of like, you know, kind of like, you know I'm here, I might as well say hi. And then I was like, oh, can I maybe get a picture? And they were fine, so yeah. Uh, but Danny's come out here, we told him how you get out because they put a case across we were like telling every actor how to get out their own stage door which was hilarious uh, but yeah we were telling him like you get out and then he came and was like oh did you enjoy the show and then he said to me like um, oh yeah I saw you earlier you are in one of my pictures when I took the set of the building I was like oh wow that's pretty cool <laughs> and hilarious so he was like yeah um uh, actually, I was like, I was said to him, "Can I have a photo?" So I managed to get a photo of him, which I'll stick here. And uh, yeah, that was pretty awesome. So I'm kind of sad that I didn't get to meet, meet like Bob, and Ethan, and Mark, and Amy. Um, I did wave to Catherine, and Catherine waved back because she looked so exhausted. And I, I, I was like, I'm not gonna ask her for a photo because she just looked exhausted. So I thought I'll just let her be. I just gave her like a wave and said safe travels. Uh, but yeah, um, I should finish up my tea, get packed, and then head for a train. But yeah, um, everything was so awesome. Like, I really enjoyed it. Best show ever. Seriously. If you get to see it while it's on its European door bit, or well, the last bit, go and see it. You won't regret it. I don't even think you have to be Mark by fans to enjoy it. Because it's just improv. Like, you don't really have to know who they are. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, we saw Ethan do a backflip, backflip guy. So yeah, I am gonna go. I am exhausted. So I will see you guys. I'm doing a mock by exit here. I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs>